And joining me now is Laura Young. Laura Young is a, an environmental scientist and was also a campaigner attending COP26 uh, just, what, six months ago now. Yeah. Um, what sort of image do you think Scotland presented in those terms, in terms of its cleanliness in a city like Glasgow? Because there are all sorts of stories that were paying into the international plans of power, rats running all over the place, rubbish not disposed of properly. Some of them are consequences of, again, still being uh, the, the after effects of lockdown. But do you think that message is getting across sufficiently? Because after all, in the end, it's not governments that sort those problems out, it's councils. I think we tried our best during COP, you know, to really show a sustainable city, a sustainable country. But actually, there was a lot of awareness raised in the run up to COP from the kind of waste industry that we didn't have enough funding. And often councils have been underfunded for years. And waste is a real part of that where we often see that and then charges get put elsewhere, like you were just mentioning. And I think COP was a really good opportunity on the global stage to obviously talk about climate, but also for local issues to be raised to really pinpoint how we can make a difference and of course we knew these council elections were coming along and so these have been big talking points because they were raised at COP and we are continuing to push for better practice here. One Scotland. last one point and forgive me we're under pressure of time just to ask about net zero that's the big ambition yeah. uh, Scotland wants to get to net zero by 2030 when you're talking about waste and recycling food waste all those other things it's a big challenge. It is a big challenge, but luckily we have the solutions. That's the good thing. We just need to get funding packages to councils to do a lot of this. You know, when we talk about net zero, ambition is great, target is great, but it trickles down and we need to actually make sure that on the ground we can be doing that. So we need to play our part as individuals, we need to play our part as councils, and then, of course, up to different levels. And it's absolutely achievable, but we need to be pushing for it. And luckily, these councillors are going to come in at the right time to make the big push they need over the course of their time in um, their councils. Yeah, that five years four or five years is going to be critical. Laura Young, environmental scientist, thank you very much.